Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Let me check. I Testing one, you. two. I didn't hear you. <clears throat> no, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's wait one minute, okay? Let's wait one Bye. minute for our, our friends. Okay. Okay, good evening. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, excellent. So let, let's go ahead and start. Um, I want to start with uh, reviewing the questions and then reviewing the worksheets that we work, that I sent you, okay? So we are looking at four type of questions. Las cuatro tipos de preguntas. Ya más o menos se las aprendieron? Did you study them? The four type of questions that we have? Okay. So the four type of questions, basically, it comes from this section. Hay tres lecciones en esta sección número uno que se basa en este cuadro. Okay, so you have here uh, one, one, Two, three, four type of questions that we're looking at, okay? Dos empiezan con WH and two are yes or no. So you have two WH questions and then two yes or no questions, okay? All right, so esto, esto está en el video, ¿verdad? 1.1, 1.4 y 1.7. All right, so question number one, the first type of question is WH plus the verb to be. For example, you say, when were you born? ¿Cuándo? Or, um, perdón, where? Where were you born? ¿Dónde? I was born in Brazil. Uh, examples, where was your mother born? Where was your father born? Why were you interested in learning English? What was your favorite movie as a child? What was your favorite place to visit as a child? What or any WH word plus the verb to be. Verb to be in el pasado, verdad? Was and were. Then we have what and did. Where, where did you grow up? When did you start learning English? What did you do yesterday? 
And then we have yes or no questions. Yes or no questions start with the verb to be. For example, were you bored yesterday? Were you bored yesterday? Were you busy yesterday? Okay. Were you busy yesterday? Or for example, were you cold last night? Uh, let me go to the next one, number four. It starts with did. Did you talk to your boss yesterday? For example, did you take the uh, did you take the test yesterday? Did you finish the platform? Did he talk to you about the problem? Did she call you yesterday? Did she finish her dinner? Okay. So, a questions about these four type of questions. Do you have any questions about this? Uh, Tomando en cuenta este cuadro, do you have any questions? Yeah? Okay, so estamos bien. All right, so I sent you worksheet. I tried to look for worksheets that were similar to this, right? Algo que pudieras eh, como suplementar lo que, lo que ustedes ya estaban uh, trabajando, lo que vieron ahí. So, I have four links. Let's go to the first one, the first link. And I told you that you can do the worksheets, right? Estas, estas worksheets son simplemente para que ustedes puedan practicar. Yo no las califico. Okay? Esta página las califica y es solamente para que ustedes puedan practicar. Okay? So, the first one here, I have simple past. Eh, Se puede decir simple past or, or past simple. It's the same. Uh, using was and were. For example, complete the sentence with was or were. Okay, so aquí tengo eh, statements, positive statements, and here I have questions. Okay, so eh, es bueno saber hacer las dos cosas. Okay, eh, y también. Teacher. Sí. Uh, uh, eh, tengo una pregunta. Hay este. Es una confusión donde dice Turkey Holiday. Eh, eh, me confundo en on in. Yo lo hice. Y lo único que tuve mala fue esa. Esa de Turkey. Uh -huh. uh, so, the question is, siempre vamos a empezar con was, right? Porque es una pregunta. Sí. Uh, so, uh, was Turkey Holiday. I was. Ah, pero es una pregunta. Let me see. Quiero, quiero, quiero ver si es una pregunta o no. Solo quiero. I was put in the... No, no, no. Entonces no es pregunta. I was. In Turkey. I was on. From Turkey. From holiday. I was. No, I was in Turkey, in Turkey on holiday. Ah, está hablando de, del país, Turkey, right? Ajá, uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, yes, it's talking about Turkey. Está hablando mm -hmm. del país. I was in Turkey on holiday. On holiday. Okay, yeah. Uh, Está un poquito confuso porque puede que, que estás pensando como el día de pago, <risa> right? Que también es sí, yo eso, de... eso es lo que pensé, por eso el on y el in no me equivoqué. Sí, podría pensar, ah, está hablando del día de, lo, del día de pago, <risa> Thanksgiving, right? De que, turkey holiday, right? All right. So, uh, if you have uh, statements Dice, with was. For uh -huh. this link, I don't need call. O password. ¿Dónde? ¿Cuál número? Eh, no, para esta página no necesito código. Ah, no. no, 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 nothing. 
Eh, abrir una cuenta es para si usted quiere poner hojas de trabajo aquí, si usted quiere uh -huh. agregar como un maestro acá. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Esto no requiere password. Esto escribir aquí como yo estoy haciendo inmediatamente. Lo puede hacer con su teléfono, lo puede hacer con su computadora, con su iPad. Uh -huh. Escribir en la worksheet. Por eso se llama live worksheet. Hoja de trabajo viva. Ok, so here you use, for example, the clue. Ok. So, for example, you have to use uh, some uh, was and were in the past. Carl was born in Madrid. Madrid. Okay. Number two. Was the lunch good? Okay. Very good. And you have to put a question, right? Remember to put the question. Uh, were, were you in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. um, was the weather nice? Mm -hmm. um, was Liam uh, here last, last week? Was, was Liam es el nombre propio. Ill. Liam ill enfermo enfermo last time. Was Liam last ill week. last week? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, very good. Now, solo quiero, solo quiero enseñarles algo. No la vamos a hacer todo, porque esto era para que ustedes puedan practicar sí. en casa. So, si tú quieres revisar, you go to finish, right? ¿Ya revisaron algunos? Dice, sí. check, check my answer. Ok, now, ¿qué pasa si tengo una mala? Entonces, simplemente, no sé si lo pueden hacer en el celular. Ok. Eh, pero aquí me equivoqué yo porque no me di cuenta que decía la instrucción. Tiene que ser pregunta. All right, so, do you see there? Pueden ver allí que si yo le pongo el mouse sobre la que está equivocada, ¿me da la respuesta correcta? ¿Vieren? ¿Ustedes pueden ver ahí? Uh, sí, sí. Ok. En el, en el teléfono no se puede. Eh, sí, ten, no sé cómo lo van a poder hacer. Tal vez hay una forma, pero uh -huh. honestamente yo no he ingresado con el teléfono. Pero... Let's do this so you can see. Okay. So, uh, if you check, you know, you can check. And if you don't know the answer, you can always check there. Okay. So, you, you can use this there or no? No, I have to use. Uh, was, was a word? Was. Was a word? Was okay. a word. Toda van a empezar con was a word. Number one. Uh, okay. Cometí el error porque no, no leí yeah, la Was Carlos bien. born in Madrid? Was Carl born in Madrid? Correct oh, question. Was Carl born in Madrid? All right. So basically, this is the end. This is the, the first one that we did, right? Let's go to number two. La segunda era esta que les mandé. Uh -huh. Okay. Click and drag. Now we're doing WH plus the verb to be. Que en la presentación que les enseñé al principio era la primera categoría. Uh -huh. Who were Palentolis the first? Quiero ver ahí. Were. Un poquito confuso. Who porque tengo que ponerla exactamente en el lugar. Who were the first Palentologists? Mm -hmm, correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it gives you some information there. Where the read. fish pond. Okay. Number two. Where? We, where oh, was the first? The first dinosaur dinosaurs exhibition. Exhibition. Correct. Okay. So basically. Ahí está, ¿verdad? So you guys can do that. This is the WH plus the verb to be. ¿Ok? Para que practiquen esas también. Teníamos otra. Buena herramienta, profe. Yo sí todo el día pasado. Sí, ese, esa es una buena herramienta. Y ustedes pueden, allí mismo, eh, pueden buscar otras que les puede ayudar. Es decir, esto es una herramienta gratis. Yo no los puedo limitar a ustedes. Ustedes pueden hacer lo que quieran, los ejercicios que quieran. 
Pero trato, yo trato de solo enseñar lo que la plataforma está viendo, lo que, el tema de la plataforma. Uh -huh. El ah. último link no lo entendí mucho. Order, this one order. says, order them and form AWH questions. Okay. Uh -huh. What? What did, did Jen buy? Entonces, esta es con WH questions plus did. Okay. So, this is the second, the number three. Okay. And uh, this one has did and do. Um, for example, number two puede ser un poquito confusa. What, what did, did, did you do? You do. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Very good. So, that's the number three. Let's go to number four. Le dio un error. Tal vez yo copié algo mal. Ah, no, ahí está. Okay, so the next one is ask simple question, uh, questions in the simple past tense. Okay, so write that question. Okay. So, la pregunta que ustedes van a escribir corresponde a lo que está en, en la izquierda. I saw my friend yesterday. Who did you see? Who did you see? Solo que no sé. No me, da más, no me da más instrucción. Creo que es WH. WH plus... Did. Who did you see? Who did you see? I saw my friend. I saw my friend. Okay. They came to they came to school by bus. How did How they come? Uh, in the field, who did you see? Mm -hmm. What did you see? I saw my friend. ¿Quién vio a tu amigo? ¿O cómo? No. ¿A quién viste? Who is a person? Uh -huh. When you ask who, you're looking for a person. Who did you see? Past. Past. I saw my friend. I saw my friend. I past. Saw. También. So the answer in the question or in the past? Do you see? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, solo quiero revisar una cosa. Porque creo que está usando WH en the verb to be. Let me see. Yeah. Entonces, okay. uh, who did you see? Who did no. who did you see? Ah, es que no le puse la, el signo de interrogación al final. Pero le escribí como está ahí. Who did you see? Oh, yeah, we did, right? No puse el signo de interrogación. Inter interrogation mark. Mm -hmm. How did they come to school? Uh, it's, it's correct. All right. Solo que no le puse el signo de interrogación. Mm -hmm. All right, but that's, that's the correct answer. So this one you're using WH plus did. Okay. So, esta la pueden trabajar. Les recomiendo que las, las puedan hacer. Right? So that you can practice, so that you can practice the sections, okay? Let's go to Inglés Corporativo. Let's go to the platform. Okay, very good. So. Simple past es el mismo cuadro que estudiamos. Eh, simple past statements with the verb to be, el mismo cuadro que vimos. Simple past questions with the verb to be, el mismo cuadro. So hay tres, lección, tres lecciones basadas en el mismo cuadro. Now, do you remember what we did yesterday? Yesterday we, we did a little practice. Hicimos positive and negative statements with the verb to be. Okay? So yesterday, les mandé este cuadrito, ¿ok? Tenían que llenarlo. Yo, yo lo llené al final. But um, al final de la clase, ¿se acuerdan que se los presenté? 
basically what I wanted you to do is do positive and negative uh, statements, okay? Simple past. Something about myself, facts about myself. I lived in Miami. I didn't live in New York. I cooked dinner, positive. I didn't cook dinner, negative. I went to the store this afternoon, positive. I didn't go to the store this afternoon, okay? Facts about my parents. Uh, this is about, you can, you can write about your parents or maybe about your, a friend. My mother was born in Suchitoto, positive. My mother was not born in La Paz, negative. My father was born in Metapan, positive. My father was born in La Libertad, negative. Okay? So basically, this is what we, this is what we practice, right? Aquí terminamos la clase de ayer. Okay? Now, we have time. We have a little bit of time, right? So I want you to take some time right now, and I want you to practice this with your partner. So let's go to groups. Eh, esto, yo, esto lo puse ayer, so simplemente búsquenlo en los mensajes de ayer del grupo de WhatsApp y van a encontrar esto. Ahí está. So let's go to groups and I want you to practice. Traten de hablar. No tienen que escribir, no tienen que llenar el cuadro juntos. Focus on speaking. Enfóquense en hablar. Okay? So let's, let's go to the class. Only seven people? What happened? Only seven people? They were busy today. They were busy? <laughs> okay. Let's go to groups, and then we can, uh, we can practice. Rafael, please accept the invitation. Accept the invitation, por favor. Go to your group, please. Vayan a los grupos. Please. Rafael, can you accept the invitation, please? Hello. Oh, okay, aquí estás. Ya te, te yes. estaba escribiendo. Uh, sorry. No, ¿Ingresaste de otro teléfono también? Eh, no, ¿por qué? Ah, okay. No, es que te vi, te vi que estabas todavía en el grupo. Eh, así como en la, la reunión de espera. Oh. Uh, okay. Ready? Tell me something yeah. about you. Facts about you. Positive and negative about you i started high school in menapan okay ¿Qué más? Yeah. What, uh, i was in positive or, or negative or whatever eh, positive and negative te acordás el cuadrito oh okay like that. ¿Te acordás el cuadrito que hicimos ayer so for example i i i will say uh like I said, uh, I started the high school on Menapan. I didn't study the high school on Santa Ana. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. What... ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más no puedes decir acerca de ti? Positive statements. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell us? I was in Academia Europea. Okay. Uh, I wasn't in the university. Very good. Positive and negative. Very good. Okay, right. Steph, uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Tell us about you. Give us some facts about you in positive and negative. I work today. Okay. And I didn't, I don't sleep all the day. I don't sleep or I didn't sleep. We're I talking past. Sleep. Past. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Tell us about you. Something else. I about you. see my social read today. And no me acuerdo. No sé cómo se dice redes sociales. Uh, social media. Social media or social network. Uh -huh. Social network. And uh -huh. I, I did in my lunch today. Uh, I didn't eat. I didn't eat? Necesitas un verbo. Dijiste, I didn't lunch today. Pero necesitas I un need, verbo. I didn't, sorry, I didn't cook my lunch uh, today. Very good, ahí está. Excellent, very good. Now, I, what about your parents? Maybe you can share something about your parents. Huh? Con, con el ejemplo que yo les di acerca de, de mis papás. My mother was born in Suchitoto. My mother was not born in La Paz. Um, my father was born in Metapan. My father was not born in La Libertad. Okay, so positive and negative statements about my, my parents. My mother studied in Metapan. Okay. My mother didn't work. Didn't... Doesn't matter. Huh? My mother don't work in New York. Uh, don't or didn't. It has to didn't be in the past. work in yes. New York. Very good. Metapan. Um, lo que sea. <laughs> okay. Gracias. As I was born to Metapan. Uh, I in was Metapan. In Metapan, yes. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't born in San Salvador. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about uh, your parents? Maybe you can give me some information about your parents. Uh, for example, my, my parents, my mother was born in Suchitoto. Positive. My yeah. mother was not born in La Paz. Negative. My father was born in Metapan. Positive. My father was not born in La Libertad. So, positive and negative. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My mother mm -hmm. in <laughs> Sorry. Say, say. Okay. My mother born in Cuatepeque. Was. My, I'm sorry. Uh -huh, yes. She, uh, my father was born in Cuatepeque. My, fa my father was in Mexico. Born in Metapan. Very good. Okay. Remember to use was or weren't. Yes, okay. I know. I'm sorry. Or if teacher. You want to it or did it. Uh huh. Teacher. So, um, I can. I can tell wasn't uh, or weren't. Um, yeah, you can. You can use wasn't or weren't. Uh huh. Por ejemplo, solamente, solamente que depende del sujeto, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Solo cuando estás hablando de I, I was, I wasn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Teacher, antes okay. de que te voy a contar, eh, aquí en Metapan estamos teniendo como quiere llover y hay algunos bajones de corriente, por si de repente no nos ven porque se fue la corriente. Ok, okay. no, no problem, it's ok. Thanks. Okay, my, my, continue. My mother and my father were born in Texas, the mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, very Hi. good. Eric, está ahí? Sí. Okay, so ya hicieron uh, statements about you and statements about your parents? Yes, we do. Okay. Very good, very good. So le let me hear something about you, Eric. Tell me something about you. About me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I am 40 years old. I just came to El Salvador two years ago from the United States. I okay. stayed there for like 20 years. Okay. I went to school there and I was I was working like a server and I practiced a lot English. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I get that course because I would like to get like a kind of title here okay. to approve to approve uh, to I speak a little bit English. Okay. All right, uh, very good. Excellent. Okay, very good, Michelle. Tell me something about you. Okay, um, I have to use like in a statement so I can talk. Abierta, <laughs> free, you can talk freely. Don't okay. worry, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 18 years old. Uh -huh. Well, in, the, in this moment, I'm studying the university. Uh -huh. I'm studying business administration. Okay. Um, I started to practice English like three years ago, but I want to to learn more because okay. I think English is very important. And for my career, mm -hmm. it's going to be good that I can talk in English. Okay. What is your career? What are you studying? Business administration. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's go back to the to the meeting. We're going to go back now. Okay. Okay, very good. We're back. All right, so I, I hope you had a chance to practice, right? We practiced the uh, positive statements and negative statements about uh, facts about myself and facts about my parents. Okay. Okay, so uh, questions about that. How do I make positive and neg negative statements? I do forma, verdad? Puedo usar was or wasn't. Wasn't or where or weren't okay. or cuál es la otra forma? Did. 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 Yes. Very good. For example, uh, un ejemplo de did. I didn't go to school in Santana. Okay. So that can be an example. All Yo right. no fui a Santana. Uh -huh. But I didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. So I say, I didn't go to school in Santa Ana. I didn't go to school. Uh-huh. OK, very good. OK, so let, let's go to the next section in the platform. Uh, ¿Quién terminó? Bueno, eh, la que acabamos de hacer es 1.7. Let's see, let's go to Inglés Corporativo. Let me share my computer with you. OK. So, simple past questions with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. eh, esa ya lo hicimos, was and weren't and did. And also, uh, let's go now to statements with used. Okay. So, les dejo la worksheet. Les dejo los, la, lo, 
los exámenes también, son como tipo de exámenes que están aquí en la plataforma. Si ustedes ven aquí, dice Knowledge Check, 1.2. 1.5, Knowledge Check, también es como una prueba. En 1.8, Knowledge Check. So, tenemos tres Knowledge Checks. Do you see? So, no se olviden de completar ustedes. Aunque yo les dé la worksheet, su prioridad es terminar la plataforma. Okay, so you have knowledge check 1.2, 1.5, 1.8. All right. If you have questions, then you can tell me. Okay, escribe me. Write to me. Tell me. All right. If you have questions for those. Pero esas pruebas quiero que ustedes las hagan solo. All right, very good. And statements with used. Let's go to the next section. 1.10. So let's watch the video. Statements with used. Okay? Sir, Now, easy, normally, easy. Ya le voy a dar una introducción. Her English, is really ah? understand. Her English is really strange because she's from England. Ah, okay. So yeah, she has an accent. English, England uh -huh, accent. Really terrible accent. Okay, no problem. But uh, I'm going to explain it to you anyways, okay? So you have uh, basically used to, to talk about things that you used to do in the past, okay? For example, eh, algo que yo hacía en el pasado que ahora ya no lo estoy haciendo en el presente. For example, I used to play baseball. I used to play baseball when I was little, okay? Ah, okay. usando solía. Yes, uh -huh. eso, es, eso es lo que quiere used decir. To. Used to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's, let's look at the video and let's take notes. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course, I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. 
I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. You still refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. very messy but uh, now um, very neat there we go so the subject in our sentence is I am gonna go ahead and play with the colors right now uh, this follows used to and then we have the verb to be now this just happens to be the bird that we're using in this example but it's not always going to be the bird to be and then finally we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there and so now let's try to make a couple of more examples so I'm going to mention some of my own so I used to and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid um, and well we follow the structure um, we have a subject then this follows used to then we have the verb in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end now let me present the negative structure let me present how we're gonna make negative statements so previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to now we're going to talk about negative statements the only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't alright so that's what I want you to notice and also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past and now it's going to be in the present and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here so we're going to have the subject plus didn't and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. It's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to and that's going to follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complement exists I never used to play sports I never used to worry about money I never used to play sports but now I play tennis just like you see on the example there okay uh, I'm going to stop the video right here but because I want to show you what we're going to do we're going to do an activity and uh, let me go to uh, the activity that we're going to do.
es una worksheet que está aquí mismo esta página se llama use to worksheet okay we're gonna go ahead and go here and it's this picture let me show you this worksheet okay let me go to whatsapp because i'm going to share that with you ya se, ya le voy a compartir el link let me just go esperando que cargue Ahí está. Okay. So, in this worksheet, what we're going to do is we're, vamos a llenar esto, esta, estas oraciones. What are options? What can I, can I use? I can use, I used to, I didn't use to, and I can make a question. Did you use to? So, I have positive, negative, and question. Positive, negative, and question. Ahorita solo estamos viendo statements, right? Now, I have also, si ustedes ven aquí, hay un, una lista de verbos que están aquí abajo. Attend. Atender o, o asistir, más bien, perdón. Asistir. Blow. Blow es, es como soplar, cuando tú soplas una candela, por ejemplo. O soplas algo que está caliente. Build. When you uh, make a construction of something, climb, do, dress, drink, drive, fly, give, go, have. Ahí está en la lista de verbos, okay? Eh, no sé si los van a usar todos. Excuse I'm me, sorry? what is the next? The next. Uh, after, after have. Okay. Okay. After have, mow. What, the, mow, what does it mean? Mow is when you cut the grass. Cutting the grass, cortando la grama. Do you see here, okay. this picture? Do you see this picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cortar grama. Right here, this picture. Okay, very good. Okay, so I want you to go and what you're going to do is complete the sentence. For example, I used to, used to, K, okay. And then you have to look for a verb a verb that matches. And you have to read the rest of the sentence. I used to, le voy a dar la primera, build sand castles when I went to the beach with my parents. Everything is in the past. We're talking about activities you used to do in the past, okay? So, eso es lo que van a hacer. That's what you're going to do, all right? I'm going to share this worksheet with you. Um, van a trabajar en grupos, okay? And basically, you're going to try to use uh, the positive, the negative, and the question statements with used to. Preguntas? Okay, nos quedan 10 minutos de clase. Eh, trabajemos por lo menos unos 7, 8 minutos y dejamos 2 minutos para el final. Let's go to groups now, please. Acepten la invitación, listos? Eat berry candies. It's correct, Wait. teacher. Huh? It's correct. I use it to eat berry candy. What number? ¿Dónde están? Eh, yo creo que no, no entraba la... Es que, eh, que, que tú estás haciendo, tú, usted está haciendo ejemplos eh, propios. Está bien, pero, pero ahorita quiero que trabajen en la worksheet que les enseñé. Ok. El link del worksheet está en WhatsApp. En el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Carla. Sí. 
¿Usted ya lo tiene? Sí, la tengo aquí, solo que no la he, no la he ido llenando aún. Ok, the first one is I used to build sand, sand castles when I went to the beach with my parents. The second sería bye, ¿no? Mr. Smith. Molly, Molly used to drink coffee when she What was in term? primary school. Uh, primary o primary, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Prime. Prime. Primary. Primary. Mm -hmm. Primary school. Ok, very Primary. good. Primary so, school. Ahí la sí. compañera le dio la, la número dos también. You guys listen? Um, Mr. Smith. Okay. Mm -hmm. can, can you repeat number two? Um, I, you said, I didn't use. Molly, Molly used. Molly didn't use it to. It's correct. No, it's not. It's not in negative. It's in positive. Molly. Ah, in positive. Uh -huh. it sería Molly. Molly uh, used it to coffee when she was in primary school. ¿Qué le falta allí? The verb. The verb. Mm -hmm. Drink. Drink. Yes. <laughs> what is the verb in, in this case? Molly. Es que, ¿Qué, es lo que está haciendo, ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo la foto, la, la, el dibujito? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Ajá, About se responde en base a eso. Drinking. She's drinking, Because, okay. So the verb is drink. Drink. Uh, drink. Molly used to drink coffee when was in primary school. Yes, correct. Primary. Okay. Primary. The third, my father used to fly a kite with me in the park when I was a, a, a kid. Kid. Mm -hmm. So the verb is fly. fly. Used to, mm -hmm. My father used to fly. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smith, bye. Oh. Eh, pay, pay, pay. Pay. Uh -huh. eh, I'm sorry. Um, Pero no, 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 no. Mr. Smith, I did. No, Mr. Smith didn't use to pay taxes when he was 15 years old. It's yeah. negative. Mm hmm. I don't understand. Mr. Smith, you said to? Didn't. Didn't, didn't use, to. use to. What is the verb? Uh, pay. pay. A pay. Entonces, mm -hmm. Mr. Smith, you said pay taxes when was 15 years old. El verbo ya no va en pasado, es used to, porque el didn't hace la función del pasado. El Solo didn't. El, ajá, porque él está... El diciendo, used to, used to, por, no, el, don't el, share el, the verb. Es que yo así había entendido que todas las allí de abajo eran I used to. En cambio, las otras eran I didn't use to y las otras eran didn't use to, pero no es así. No, no. no. Es que es en base a lo que dice el, um, aquí, porque por ejemplo ahí está diciendo que el señor Smith no pagaba taxes cuando tenía 15 años, porque obvio quizás no, no trabajaba. Yo entendí de otra forma entonces, yo pensé que donde dice used to, los dibujos para abajo, todos iban a poner no, used to. No, 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 Sara. eso solo son, Sara. solo son como el tema. Hola, teacher, say me. Sara, hay, que, hay ¿Sí? que leer las instrucciones de la hoja de trabajo. Eh, ¿Qué dice la instrucción allí? Tú ves abajo de... Hay unas instrucciones que están en la esquinita. Arriba no, de donde están no, los verbos. Ah, 
complete a sentence with the current form of uses to and one of the verb in the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces hay tres diferentes formas de use to, no solamente una. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí están arriba. I used to. I didn't use to. I didn't use to. Did you use to? Había entendido mal. Yo pensé que en la línea de use to, use to y en así. Ah, no, no, no. You have to no, read no. the instructions. Instructions. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Very good. Okay, continue. Now, correct. Yo pienso que es didn't use to. Mr. Smith didn't use to pay taxes when he was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, porque no paga impuestos. Está, no. Es, es un niño todavía. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Alice, ah, but it's a question. Now we yes. have a question. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, she uh, use... did she use... Alice use to mm -hmm. a rope in, ah, no, 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 falta el saltar. Skip. Did she use to? ¿Qué es saltar? Saltar skip. es skip. Uh -huh. Skip. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. did... Alice uh, used to skip a rope in the school playground. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommy, what's the verb use? How do you say preparar, bullet teacher? Climb. What? Climb. What? Climb. Escalar, oh. climb. Fly. Right. No. Climb. C L I M B. Pero no lo encuentro aquí. Está rojo abajo de build. Ah, climb. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Tommy. Eh, did you did use it? To climb tree when he visits you in the countryside. It's correct, teacher. Number what? My... At the end, Tommy. Pero brincaron del. Estaban por la mitad y brincaron hasta el final. <laughs> <laughs> no, es solo porque tenía una duda. Ah, no, están brincando por todos lados. Así se van a confundir porque tienen que trabajar juntos. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, Tommy used to climb trees when he visited his grand... When he visited you in the country... Ah, no, it's a question. Uh -huh. Did uh -huh. Tommy used to climb uh -huh. trees when he visited you in the countryside? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Question. Okay, let's go back to the meeting now. We're almost finished. Okay, very good. So, yo sé que no tuvieron tiempo de terminar, pero por lo menos empezaron a, a, a trabajar esa parte. So, work, number one, watch the video. Okay, si lo tienen que ver tres veces, vean el video tres veces. Si quieren hacer ejemplos, tomar nota, escuchar la pronunciación, todo eso es bueno. Hagan eso primero. La hoja de trabajo no es su nota. La nota es la plataforma. ¿Ok? Y eso, ustedes saben que no me lo tienen que mandar, sino que solo trabajar. So, um, pueden hacer esa hoja, ¿ok? Ver ese video dos o tres veces para que puedan entender esa parte. Um, and then we will continue to practice and we'll check tomorrow. Okay, so vamos a trabajar use. Yes. Okay, excellent. So I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Bye. Okay, have a good night. Bye-bye.